Okay, directions are establish this identity. Sine of theta times the sum of the cotangent of theta and the tangent of theta equals secant theta. Alright? Tree identity. So we need to establish this identity. So the goal here, remember, is to start with one side, apply some identities we already know to be true, maybe some algebra, and end up with the other side. Okay? We don't want to do work on both sides of the equation. Start with this side, do some work, end up with the other side. Then we've established that identity. So I'm going to start with this left hand side. I'm going to draw a line, okay, because that's what I'm trying to show. This is all my work from below this, all right? So I'm not going to say equals secant theta, because I don't know that yet. I'm trying to establish that. Okay, so I'm going to do some work here and hopefully end up with secant theta if I can. All right. So the question is, what do I do from here? Well, you have to be familiar with your identities, okay? In particular here, the, your quotient identities and maybe reciprocal identities. I don't have any Pythagorean identities, nothing squared, okay? So I can't really do anything with that yet. Maybe later on I'll end up with something squared and I can work on that, okay? But first things first, where do I start? Well, as you do a lot of these, a lot of times you're going to replace tangent with its definition with its uh, quotient identity that is sine theta or cosine theta, okay? Um, you, get, you get in the habit of doing that a lot. And remember, these things sometimes you start one way, it doesn't work, you start over, okay? So my first guess would be replace those with the identity sine theta or cosine theta, and then the cotangent, of course, is the reciprocal of that, cosine theta or sine theta, and don't forget this guy's still out here. Okay, all that and that are the same thing, right? They're equal to each other. All right, so where does that get? Well, what do I do next? I'm going to try to distribute the sine theta and see where that goes, because there's not much else I can do. I can go back to, I know that's the cotan, but I want to go back the other direction. I'll be right back where I started. So I'm going to go ahead and distribute sine theta times that fraction is cosine theta. Sine theta times this fraction would, of course, be sine squared theta over cosine theta. Okay. Am I getting anywhere? Well, I hope so. Um, next step for me is going to be to try and add those two guys together. All right. So let's see what happens if I add those two guys together again. You might think, well, is that going to get me anywhere? Again, you have a couple options. You can break both this up as sine theta, sine theta, and try to apply an identity here. But I'm going to go ahead and try and add these together. Okay. So if I'm going to add these together, then I need a common denominator, of course, which would be cosine theta, okay? So to make cosine theta, to make this a denominator of cosine theta, I have to multiply by cosine theta over cosine theta, right? So this is going to be cosine squared to give me the denominator of cosine theta. And of course, this one I didn't change. Okay, now I'm getting somewhere. Let's review that step one more time. Cosine theta plus that fraction sine squared over cosine theta, add them together. Okay, that's my, that's my idea, just add them together and see what happens. I can kind of see that if I have to add these together, I need a common denominator. Then I have to multiply this by cosine theta, this by cosine theta, I get a cosine squared. Then I got a cosine squared and sine squared. And then that should jump out, right? Cosine squared plus sine squared theta. I know what that one is. That's one of our, our most familiar um, identities. Pythagorean identity, if I add those two values together, I get one. Okay, so that's one over cosine theta. And now I'm done, because one over cosine theta is the same thing as secant theta. So I've established that this is the same as that, right? Which was the goal to start with. How did I get there? Well, let's review. Quotient identity. Next step, distributed the sign, which I knew I was going to have to do at some point. And then I have this, this step here. Cosine theta plus that fraction. What am I going to do with that? Well, there's a couple options here. What I thought to do is just add them together, which you do a lot. If I add them together, I need a common denominator, cosine theta. That becomes cosine squared. And then this one sticks out, right? That's my Pythagorean identity. That's equal to 1. 1 over cosine theta secant theta. And I'm done. All right.